Good morning, beautiful people of the earth. It is I, Just Conspiracy. This video will be dedicated to woman, or women, in a plural sense. Woman, the word woman, and this comes out of Webster's 1828, is a compound of womb and man. So literally, woman is just the man with the womb. When we come over to this .gov website, NCBI, National Center for Biotechnology Information, another NCBI website, .gov. Geneticists have discovered that all human embryos start life as females, as do all embryos of mammals. Remember that, men. You were a female before you were a male in the embryo. So for all of you men who feel superior to women, just remember that all men started off life as a female before they turned into a male. Let's give credit to some great females in history. Cybill Lundington, the female Paul Revere, on the night of April 26, 1777, 16-year-old Cybill Lungdenton rode 40 miles to warn approximately 400 militiamen that the British troops were coming. George Washington himself came to her home to say, Thank you. Claudia Colvin, the teenage civil rights activist, too tired to give up her seat on the bus from high school on March 2nd, 1955. Claudia Colvin refused to move for a white passenger. Nine months before Rosa Parks would do the same because Rosa Parks was actually on my list. As she told Newsweek, I felt like Sojourner Truth was pushing me down on one shoulder and Harriet Tubman was pushing down on the other, saying, Sit down, girl! The 15-year-old Colvin was arrested for violating Alabama's segregation laws. Haiti Lamar, when beauty and brains collide. Often called the most beautiful woman in films, Haiti Lamar was more than what met the eye. She helped invent a secret communication system in World War II to help combat the Nazis. If you use a smartphone today, you can thank Lamar. Her communication system was a precursor to wireless technologies, including Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Rosalind Franklin, a scientist, denied her due. Heading up another DNA research team was Maurice Wilkins, who ultimately betrayed Franklin when he showed scientist James Watson and Francis Crick Franklin's groundbreaking X-ray image of DNA known as Photo 51. Photo 51 enabled Watson, Crick, and Wilkins to determine the structure of DNA. She did not get credit for this, but she went on to study tobacco mosaic virus and polio, creating the foundation of modern virology. Jane Addams, a progressive pioneer for social change. Suffragette, settlement house founder, peace activist, and Nobel Prize winner, James Addams rejected marriage and motherhood in favor of a life time commitment to social reform and I think that it is very important to have a family and a family foundation I would not be doing this without my son in my life I would have kept doing what I was doing before making a lot more money but I would not be helping people the way that I am now Adams and other Hull House residents sponsored legislation to abolish child labor, establish juvenile courts. I don't necessarily agree with juvenile courts because juveniles should be punished by their parents 
and not the government in my opinion. Limit the hours of working women, recognize labor unions, make school attendance compulsory. I don't know if I actually agree with that all the way either, but she did a lot of stuff for social reform. Ensure safe working conditions in factories. Jeanette Rankin breaking down barriers before women could vote. We're actually going to talk about suffrage before this is over. The first woman elected to Congress in 1916. That was quite a feat because women could not vote at that moment in time. Ultimately serving two terms in the House. Rankin was the only member of Congress to vote against the U.S. participation in both world wars. She also served as an officer for the League of Peace and Freedom, campaign for maternal and children health care, and to regulation of hours and wages for women workers. Last but definitely not least, Sojourner Truth. A voice that changed the nation. This woman was a freed slave, Sojourner Truth, 1797 to 1883, pioneered the women's rights movement. Born into slavery, Truth escaped to freedom with her infant daughter in 1826 with a powerful voice and driven by deep religious conviction. Truth was an ardent abolitionist and women's rights activist. She stumped the country speaking on emancipation, politicians, political action, racism, women's rights, and segregation, and this was all back in the 1800s. When Truth died, her funeral in Battle Creek, Michigan was the largest the town had ever seen. A testimony to how her heroic and courageous life touched so many around her, and the fact that she did all of this stuff in the 1800s is so admirable in my mind that it, it just, I, I don't know what to say, and this just goes to show that women are man with the womb. They, they have the absolute same courage, tenacity, Women and men are different, and they each have different strengths and different weaknesses, but women are an absolutely integral part of our society and civilization, and I believe that we should all take more time to appreciate them and show them how much they are appreciated for the women in our life. Okay, this is from a .gov website. It was the 15th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States of America. You can see right here where it says February 3rd, 1870, the 15th Amendment granted African American men the right to vote. So African American men could vote before women could vote. Even white women. Take that white privilege. And I'm not saying that white privilege does not exist. I'm just saying that black men had the right to vote before white women. Okay, this is the 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution. Women's rights to vote. And this is in 1920 well after black men had the right to vote. So August 18th, 1920, the 19th Amendment granted women the right to vote. And this came from the suffrage movement. Let's look at the word suffer for just a moment, and then we're going to go into one last word, and the video will be over. So the root word of the suffrage, like suffrage, is obviously suffer, to suffer something. The meaning of suffer, to feel or bear what is painful, disagreeable, or distressing either to the body or mind 
to undergo, to endure, to support, to sustain, not to sink under, to allow, to permit, not to forbid or hinder, to undergo as punishment, to be injured, to sustain loss or damage. The suffix AGE, collection amount rates, process of or action of. Another prefix suffix dictionary, suffix suff, under, below, from, secretely, instead of. Suffice is the example that they give. The suffix ER or OR, if it's a noun, it's a person or thing that does something. If it is a verb, it is an action. So it's still a person or a thing that's doing something. That's what makes it a verb. In this context, suffer would be a person or thing that's being held down or subversed. So in this context, the word suffer would mean to be held down below secretely. Here is the suffix age, the noun activity or resulting of action. They actually spell it out here, suffrage. When you have the act of allowing yourself to suffer. This is what happens when people vote on the government. They choose to suffer the governmental power of the government. And in my opinion, you shouldn't just not vote. You should inform them as to why. You should say, hey, you guys don't have my consent anymore. Like, you just don't have my consent anymore. And if you wish to give my consent, you can come and speak with me about it here. Here is the definition of suffrage in Webster's 1828. It is a noun, a vote, a voice given in deciding controverted questions, or in the choice of a man for an office or trust, which means that when you vote, you are literally suff, putting yourself under the man or the office that you are voting upon. You are subjecting yourself or suffering yourself to that man or that woman of that office because you're voting. Nothing can be more grateful to a good man than to be elevated to office. Elevated to office. Think about that phrase. That means that he is rising above other men when he is elevated to an office by the unbiased suffrages of free enlightened citizens which means that those free enlightened citizens are willing to suffer under the office of his rule down here number two United voice of persons and public prayer. They're telling you right here. It's a public prayer. You pray to a deity, to a god. Here is the word whole in the 1828 dictionary. All total containing the total amount or number. Complete entire, unimpaired, unbroken, uninjured, sound, not hurt, or sick, restored to health and soundness, whole, a noun, the entire thing, a system, a regular combination of parts. In my opinion, we are not whole. If you are a man, you cannot be whole without a woman without your other half. You cannot be complete in the entirety. You cannot be unimpaired, unbroken, or uninjured because we were meant to be together. Man and woman were meant to be joined. God gave woman to man to accompany him.
And so, you know, in my belief, you cannot be whole without that a company, without that companion or companionship. Now, the term whole that I just talked about, whole and complete, as in being completed by a woman, should not be confused with whole, a noun, a hollow place or cavity in any solid body, a perforation, an opening or means of escape. And we are going to go over these things in some future videos. Anyways, I just wish to make this video for women and to show our appreciation of them. There is a woman in my life who is going through a painful situation right now and I just wish to dedicate this to her because my heart goes out to her as she had a very bad experience recently so I just wish to get that on the record for the internet anyways everybody I am just conspiracy from the JC and shaman show I just wish to conspire with other good people of this planet to leave a better world for future generations than the world that we all grew up in if you wish to speak with us or ask us questions you can find us on Common Law Word Nerds Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that is on TalkShoe. Thank you. Y'all have a good day.